So given the fact that some people disbelieve in free will and some prominent thinkers and philosophers and scientists, why is it that everybody acts as if we do have it? Even those philosophers and scientists. So for instance, uh, just some examples I was thinking of, everyone's happy to hear about a marriage proposal, you know, assuming that there's no, you know, negative associations with the people, whatever, you know, um, you know, why isn't that people just shrug their shoulders when somebody proposes and say, oh, the person had no choice but to do that. It was determined from the big, the big bang that they would be getting married. Who, who really cares? Um, or um, something perhaps more profound is, you know, why do we even bother having a court system if, it's all, you know, predetermined that the, the criminal was going to commit the crime and the police were going to arrest them. And, and nobody, had, it was, it we're all just puppets in this uh, closed system. You know, basically the question is, what it, what's the societal impact of not believing in free will? Again, and, and, the, and part A of the question was, is why do people act as if everyone acts as if we do? So, yeah, I, I once came uh, to give a talk. It was actually at the Weizmann Institute in Israel. And uh, the, the professor who was hosting me said, well, I understand you're going to give a talk about free will. That's very strange. I mean, we all know there, there's no free will. W what's there to even talk about? So <laughs> I remember that saying, so let's say, I mean, I, th I think I knew he had kids. So I said, so when your kids act up, you just not admonish them at all. You just go, well, you know, they didn't have a choice. So of course they can, you know, take the mattress and rip it open and take out the <laughs> springs and so on. And then, you know, I mean, right. this extreme view of if somebody throws a stone at you, they're as responsible as the stone, right? Because they're both me mechanism mechanisms. Maybe one is more complex than the other. So then, you know, if you put the person in jail, might as well put the stone in the cell next to them or things like that. So I have to say, I mean, some people, kind of vehemently say there is no free will, it's all an illusion, which I mean, the question about the illusion is another thing, but they still then, you know, I don't know, get angry at that company that didn't deliver that stuff on time, uh, <laughs> right. um, be un unhappy if somebody's rude to them. So I, I, I have to say, I don't understand this. I mean, I, I, I can see where people come from saying, I don't think there's free will. And some people even say, well, it's an illusion, but it's such a persistent illusion that even if you don't believe in it, you still it still affects you. And I mean, there are things like that. There are some visual illusions that even if if I explain to you how it's an illusion, you still see it. It's like it's it's you can't well, like a, like a sunset. You know, everyone talks about a sunset, but really there is no sunset. The Earth is just rotating. Yeah, for, for instance, yeah. But I mean, I can tell you, and you can understand. But it still looks like the sun is setting, right? And still, if it's if you're on the beach and the sun is setting, it's still beautiful. But it anyway. <laughs> The, be, it, be it the earth rotating around the sun or, uh, or you know, the earth rotating around its axis or whatever you have. Uh, um, but so I think, um, so you were asking about what are the societal implications. Um, one way to view it is, is this dramatic one where you say, well, if there is no free will, then we don't see uh, a basis for moral responsibility. And uh, um, if that's the case, then, you know, we, we need to open the jails and let everybody out because all these criminals are as responsible as, you know, they're as responsible as the gun, they're as responsible as the axe, as the, the knife, as whatever, their fist. Um, but the less, I mean, there are various less dramatic ways to see it. One of them is... I mean, or let, let me actually give another example. What might be, be might be better? Uh, I've I actually I get this from time to time. I I get a, an email. It's typically from a, a student. These are like people in their you know early twenties, and they, professor, I just learned from your research, from other research, whatever, that there might not be free will. I've been really distressed. Some people say I haven't been sleeping. I have. I I, I I honestly get these emails. You know, and <laughs> and I don't know. You know, I don't know what to do. How do I continue with my life? Because if there's no free will, what, what what's the meaning of all of this? So again, these are that, that's a good question. Yeah, foundational questions. And because yeah. um, you know, you sit there and let's say you, you talk about a marriage proposal. You know, you've you're, you're with someone and you're thinking about taking it to the next level. And maybe you know, you feel should, should I go to that person and say, hey, should we spend the rest of our lives together? It's you know. But then you go, wait a minute, if it's all been predetermined, 
then what's the point of me thinking about it? What's the point of me, you know, I mean, it's all been done. So one way that at least I think about that. So if you're worried about that and you're worried about it's all been predetermined or, I mean, in, in, in earlier times people talked about, well, but I mean, it, it's all, a God has determined it all, whichever way you want to think about it. Uh, um, it's sometimes it's called the, the problem of God's prescience, you know, but, but whatever, whichever way you want to think about it, if it's all been predetermined, then you sitting here and thinking about it has also been predetermined. And if you stop and say, you know what, so I'm just not going to do anything because that's all been predetermined. Well, that has been predetermined as well. Right. You so, can't win. So I just suggest that instead of just finishing every sentence that we say by the word, and that has been predetermined, we just decide to omit that last part of the sentence and continue on with our life. And of course, that's been predetermined too.